Sard. Sard. My. Fuck. Did you get locked out? I'm afraid little Eric put a lock on the door to keep me out. I'm sure he has the passcode written down here somewhere. Yes, officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my son told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, he did tell me that if I step on a crack, it would break my mother's back. It won't. You. Mom. Maybe we should go to Reasons and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anyway. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on... Fast pass to get there. F f f fast. Excuse me. Super Craig, Super Craig, this is Kim. Do you copy? Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh, great. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the coon lair. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so fuck off, okay? Uh, all right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. You 
seriously can't find the supremacy device? Us superheroes use inspection mode, you know. Those are some of the most wanted criminals in our city. Could one of them be behind this cram wave? That's a biometric artifact enhancer. That's just about the direct opposite of a supremacy device. Fucking stop! Well, that took long enough. The fantasy device active. You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Koonstagram. Do you have a Koonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Koonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. Let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. Brutalist. Speedster. Blaster. Speed speedster. Might piss off fast pass, but sure. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You walked to the mirror. Over there, the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out of the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them, so for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space-time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. You used your punch attack on the bad guy. Dude, we're not getting anywhere until you use the power. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn! First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom-smashing quantum disc! Get my atom! With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! Kid's too speedy! Let's get out of here! With the intruder soundly defeated, you thought you were safe, until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders to bed! Ah! I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more. Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage. 
exhausted from your double-edged charge. You can only watch as he continued to pummel you. Can't run away from this. You were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury! So you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow. That's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. I've heard of those. <gasps> oh, wonderful. I'll see you on the internet. I can't take a selfie with a nobody like you. New kid, looks like you've reached the edge of our known universe. Beyond there lies the limits of time and space. Dude, just go the other way, that's what I say. when you have more followers, okay? I can't be in a photo with someone with so few followers. Sorry. When I go home, I'm gonna play Star Trek VR, and it's gonna be awesome! I don't even want to play superheroes. Nobody asked me if I wanted to play superheroes. Wanna go play Star Trek? I'd spock. Well, nothing left to do but go home and play Star Trek Bridge Crew. Star Trek VR, and it's gonna be awesome! A, a selfie? Sure, kid, let's do it. <gasps> okay, nice. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. Hey, can we take the shot? <laughs> We're friends now, I guess. Selfie. 
Not bad, Butto. You're gaining followers pretty fast. Keep up the good work. I'm still having trouble reaching some of the Kuhn friends. You might want to see what's going on. Fuck. You. Come on, come on now. Mom. Now get up and wait for that Make with the superheroing, new kid. Chop, chop. <laughs> okay. Uh, why is a new kid in my space? I'm busy. This isn't a mentorship program. Jesus Christ, butt lord, you're back again. Do not interrupt the coon's flow. Uh-huh, I see you're back and trying to talk to me again. Oh, great, it's butthole, yay! Uh, why is a new kid in my space? I'm busy. It's me, the Keen Store. I have new super sweet inventory. Thank you for shopping at the official store of Keen and Friends. Boobs and Wonder Woman. Movies are dumb. Let's go shoot some hoops. Basketball's stupid, bro. When I finish kicking your butt, I'm gonna kick your stupid frog's butt. Frogs don't have butts, they have qualica. <laughs> The bully 
bully has become the bully. I'm still the bully. Nothing else beating on you guys is really therapeutic for me. Now, Titty Twister. Uh oh, that looked painful. Is it too late to talk this out? Shut up, wuss. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. Okay, who's the next target of my unbridled rage? New kid. You really want a selfie with me? <gasps> Watching you defeat that sixth grader was so cool. Maybe I can become as strong as you one day. Soon you will be approaching Super Craig's Fortress of Solitude. Super Craig hasn't checked in. I hope nothing's wrong. Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement again. We should start at the basement. That's the last place I saw him. I'm thinking maybe he smelled the dog food downstairs. Chameleon guinea pigs move very slowly due to the low gravity on their whole planet, but their sense of smell is the most highly developed in the universe. I'll stand by the stairs and keep him from escaping. You do the rest, butthole. Be careful. This is probably the most challenging mission you've ever been given. Look, there he is, in the vet, way up high. You don't have amazing arm stretching powers, do you, butthole? You're welcome. Oh, almost. 
Do it again. Whoa, there he goes. Follow that guinea pig. Stripe's hiding behind that garbage over there. You just passed that box like it was nothing. Amazing. Quick, hit that box with your thing. Well, shit! I can't believe you just did that. You're so good at this. Move that thing out of the way. Hurry, do your thing or he won't come out until he gets hungry. What will happen next? Wow, that looked like it required so much skill. Use the power of your ass to overwhelm his super sensitive spell. Stripe a brilliant rescue, but it wasn't just me. We have Butt Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. You did it, newbie. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig. Ah, yes. Who wouldn't want a selfie with the Craig of Steel? A super Craig without a stripe is like a super girl without a bicycle. Anytime. <laughs> okay, later, butt stuff. A Tremalian sense of smell is so sensitive they can detect the presence of a sink. Psst, new kid. Hey there, are you one of Craig's friends? You looking for Craig? Me? Let's just say I'm an art collector specializing in a delightfully modern and extremely confusing Asian art form known as Yaoi. Crazy, right? But this stuff is worth a fortune to the right buyer. If in your adventures you find any of these, bring them to me. I will reward you handsomely. Come back with any new pieces you find.
Who would do such a thing? It's just so mean. Hey, kid, you know anything about this? Somebody's keying my wife's car at night. It's happening every night. I thought it was just one of you damn kids, but we'll... Here, come here, take a look at this. Whoever's scratching the car is also leaving notes. I'm just scared it's a jilted lover or something. You won't forget me that easy. I thought we had something. I'll tell the world about you, bitch. Listen, I'm sick of having to buff this shit out. If you can catch whoever's keying my wife's car tonight, I'll follow you on Coonstagram. Trust me, you want me as a follower. I'm a pretty big deal in this town. another universe is behind this door. I can't fight him for obvious reasons, you know, alternative universe paradox shit. So you are going to have to take him out. You've got to really kick his ass, dude, so that he wants to return back to his universe on the East Coast. You ready? All right, go get him. Uh, zoom. Oh, hey, Kyle, I'm big. Who's your friend? Did he come to play with us? All right, me from another universe, it is time for you to go back to your universe. What do you mean, Kyle? We're a team, remember? I'm not from another universe. We're like best super pals. <laughs> As you can see, he is the one running around giving the human kite a bad name. He was sent here to destroy me and weaken my power. No, no, I came to spend two weeks with my cousin and wanted to play superheroes. And then he said, okay, what superhero do you want to be? And I said, I want to be human kite. But he said, you can't be human kite. I'm human kite. And I said, well, why can't we be human kites together? So I went to Aunt Sheila and I said, I want to be human kites together. And she told him he had to do what I said because I was the guest. Remember? I'm sorry, me from another universe, but it is time for you to learn that playing superheroes is too painful. New kid, you must now destroy my alter ego. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna fight? That's right. If you really want to play, then this is how you do it. Well, all right. Anything to make me and my cousin more alike. Prepare for battle, weakling. <laughs> I 
think this would be a lot more fair if I had a shield. Some kind of shield, like a, like the safer Torah, which also has a great sentimental value. Dude, humankind is an alien. There's no Jewish stuff involved. And you can't just make up powers in the middle of a battle. I'm not making it up. It's totally canon in my alternate universe. Wait, I thought I should get this turn instead of the new kid because he didn't wait when I said time out earlier, so I think it should be my turn now. Are you kidding me? That's totally cheating. That wasn't too hard, right? I don't want to cause any permanent damage. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, here we go, my super ultimate power. Get ready. Are you ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay, Raph Kite from an alternate universe. I better go back to my universe. Oh, you're leaving? Dude, that sucks. Yeah, I'll be going back to my universe now, human kite. I need some camphor phonique for my ear because I got a scrape on it for being farted on. Dude, I don't know how to thank you. From now on, call on me whenever you need help. <laughs> 